all right so in this second part of this section we want to add a little bit of more information for example we need to have beams in this area um, you know since this is a grid line and then we have columns on either side we need to have some drop down beams and uh, as well we could have drop down beams especially along this you know area but they will be terminated and you know we will discuss with the structure engineer what is possible in this area in order to achieve that opening like so okay but for now we will just put these two beams so let me just use a polyline to outline them so i imagine this would be a beam all the way to the, the door something like that and i would imagine another beam here and as well another drop down beam somewhere here and as well somewhere there above that that door as well okay let me get rid of this i don't need it anymore okay so we have ourselves those four beams that's and that's what i can see in this section so let's go ahead and create them first of all how how big are they if i measure this is 350 by 200 millimeters thick okay and then we need to measure how it how far it is from the ground so from the ground up we can see that this is uh, just about 2.4 okay 2.4 so we will do that by going to the design tab pick the beam tool and then we go ahead and say that this is going to be 250 by 350 in this case by it's now 150 we need to make it 200 okay but the material is going to be concrete since it's a you know a drop down beam from the concrete slab and then as well we need it to be two flat a flat a flat one and we need it to be uh, starting from the bottom uh, which is going to be 2.4 from the ground okay I can see that we do not we can't be able to see that so uh, yeah just make sure it's 2.4 from the ground okay all right so let's go to the ground floor and draw those okay so identifying where those are it's going to be on top of this empty on this on top of this main entrance opening just as long as it crosses that line okay so let me select it it looks like it's not at the correct height okay it needs to be 2.4 okay and then as well it needs to be 350 by 200 and then yep that that would be it okay and then let's go ahead and uh, do do the same for this part here and you know what we can actually go to intersection and we actually draw those uh line those sections in there so let's see that and draw those beams in there let's see what this looks like so we have ourselves a drop down beam so so we can have a copy of it up here on the on this other floor and we can as well make a duplicate and just send it just make a duplicate and you know change the home story from ground to first and therefore it will be formed on the first floor right at that point so ctrl shift d to make a copy and have it there all right And then finally we also need to have one okay we already have one here and we need to make sure in 3d it does what we want it to do so and uh, here you can see that we have some trouble these beams show up in the elevation which is not what i basically want so what i want to do is to have these two smaller to have them inside the wall so we will make them 150 such that they are covered we have a finish we have a, a a white finish there and there as well okay just to conceal them under there okay which is cool okay so if we go to section you can see that we get ourselves 
a wall here and then some finish plaster finish on the on either side okay so let's get rid of if we go here in uh, polyline we can now get rid of these and those look really good okay then the next thing we can see that these stairs are not actually in the place they're supposed to be we can see that this has a gap of about a hundred from the ground and that's the same for this you can see it's hanging in the air and this one as well is hanging in the air so let's select all of them and take them down and it's better to do it in 3d so it's much easier so let's grab a cutaway 3d cutaway this one here which is this scissor so i'm going to select it and move it all the way to where that those stairs start from which i believe is somewhere here so finalize and then let's orbit to that place and you can see we have ourselves the detail that we we did in the previous video but then we have also this uh, staircase which is kind of in space here and as well if we go here you can see that we we can see that we have the same issue here so let's select all of them this uh stairs together with the railings and then uh, drop them down let's drop them down ctrl d hold down shift such that it's vertical it's the angle is, is zero degrees and when we say 100 just that such that now we have ourselves a much better uh, thing going on here you can see that that flashes in this area and so the same happens for that place okay it's way better so if we go to section we have ourselves something much much better yes all right all right so that 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 will be it and uh you were over conscious with the detail you can see we have some discrepancy on the first floor about that area you can always come in and you know move that slab such that it covers that space which you can do in here so you can see that it's just a tiny space just that and then you claim it okay but then you can see that we have this thing which is the 3d cutaway so once you disable it it shouldn't show on the ground floor it's just uh, for representation okay so let's go here in section you can see that that disappears you can you know go back and close that up again all right so let's continue in section settings because currently we have ourselves this kind of thing which has fields which is not good for a working drawing and you can see a lot of things through this door you can see we we, we can see some kitchen equipment in here we can see that we have uh, uh, some couches being seen here so in order to get rid of that we will right click here and go to section settings okay so let's go to section settings and we want to do a few changes one is the cut elements these are the things we have cut and all you have to do is click on uniform cut pens and that's all you have to do because this is going to change everything to black and white it's going to change whatever is being cut the line to be 0.35 and then the foreground field to be this one and then the the, the background will be uh, transparent which is good it, tend to look nice okay and then below that we want to have the uncut elements and then we want to change it from uh, color fill shaded to non-shaded to this one uniform pen color fill non-shaded because we don't want to have this gray uh, stuff going on because it's you know it's a working drawing so it needs to be a simple drawing black and white and make sure that that pen is the background pen such that you don't have weird colors in here a weird color okay and then next you want to go to uniform pen and cut pens and then check that and then you will have everything that's not cut in that color in that pen uh, in my case it's 1.18 which is 
fine for now you can always change it okay and then below that we have surface cover fill which we do, we do not need to enable now because we don't have any detail to show in the elevation uh, if you had like a stone texture then you would you know enable that such that you can see it in elevation okay and then below that we have uh, Trans transparency all right so we will un we will che uncheck that such that we do not see the things we are seeing through in the windows and doors okay so we will say okay and then we leave Akikad to calculate and just like that we have ourselves a working drawing that uh, looks a little bit proper okay it's a bit more detailed and it has some interesting stuff to look at okay so to complete this we need to also have some dimensions to highlight that how far is it from there to that beam and how deep is that beam how thick is that slab and the same thing you do here and the same thing to the top of this uh, building all the way there and i think we do not need to highlight that okay so let's put that in there you can see we have ourselves that so we have 250 slab and control click here such that we add that node which we forgot so a 350 beam and then you have a 2.4 from zero to up here where the doors stop okay pretty cool next is one more which we can do in here so let's start from the zero mark and tell the contractor who is going to build how high this this window is going to be and as well how high it is from the roof okay so let's go ahead and put this dimension in you can see it's not as easy so you can place it anywhere and then bring it back to somewhere where it needs to be okay so we have this window which is 1.5 from the ground and 6.9 high okay great and uh, that is looking good so finally we want to hide some of these fields because right now we have this harsh line here but we want to communicate that this ground actually continues beyond this harsh line okay so for that we will just pick a, a few and just make sure it's a background fill which is a white in other words we need to make sure that it's a white this background fill which is the background color which is white like you can see and then as well we want to just get rid of this thing here which is solid the line outline so without the outline we can go ahead and you know create those interesting stuff that you usually see uh, in sections okay just to, sh to show how the ground you know behaves around this space okay so i'm going to go ahead and hide all of this okay and you can see just like that we have hidden everything but we want to be able to see our grid lines uh be, be, before we can hide so right click display order send backward so you can be able to see our grid grid lines back but now you can see that we have this interesting fade into the background okay so we can go ahead and refine some of this stuff uh, because i believe uh, this should be something else okay something like that all right so we have ourselves a uh, section completed all right so finally let's show how this section is going to be for example in the ground floor you can see by default we have something here which is uh, s01 and then you can see what it looks like here on the on the ground floor so we can go to settings and just set how it's going to look like in the floor plan okay so starting from general we have ourselves s01 i like to make it like section one okay simple and then next we want to create um the name which is going to be section i don't know we could call it xxyy i think it's vertical so let's call it section yy okay section yy through the building okay so that will be it for the nomenclature or the naming of that the next we want to uh highlight how it's going to be so currently if we go 
to the marker you can you know choose a style that you want to see on how it is going to be represented and you can see we're already getting there but then as well we want to make change that symbol because currently it's triangle two i like the look of circle four so you you can you know go ahead and change that so if i go back you can see that this is what it will look like and i guess it needs to be a little bit bigger i don't know maybe be 12 okay such that you know that's those text can breathe all right so now we have ourselves what it will look like you know uh if you go in here you can you can see that it's the reference id that's being selected uh, but since it's yy we may want to go in uh, the marker symbol and text and get rid of that reference id instead of it being called s1 let's make it y yy such that we have ourselves a y in there a y up and a y below as you will see okay so that's what it looks like and then under here story is how it's going to be displayed so in sections it, we have the solid lines and uh, we want to also make sure that even when we put it on a piece of paper it should show so we want to change from display only to display and output such that it can be printed and then as well <clears throat> we want to also be change from a solid line to something like i don't know dashed triple that looks like or maybe dash double because we already used dash triple for the grid lines so to avoid uh, confusion let's use dashed double all right and then then let's see what is it going to look like maybe a style that you like and uh, we can also show a marker header which is going to show some interesting things in the section as you will see and that will be it okay and uh, here you can get rid of the grids if you don't want to see them but i think they add some layer of detail there so let's get let's stay with them okay so now you can see that we have ourselves this section yy and once we go to the section uh, our section the representation should change to something like so which is kind of neat right so we have this marker and then we have this you know uh, dashed small dash and dashed line okay so we can reduce this area and this other side as well which is looking pretty cool but uh, we, we, we you decide that in the floor plan because this tends to interfere with uh, our dimensions so that i would you know have to compromise and have this maybe here instead and then have this maybe you know here instead yeah uh, you get uh, whichever you choose that would be it okay so that's it for this video hope you did enjoy it and uh, let me see you in the next one bye